Um, so you use a lot of digital strategies. Um, you know, a lot of nonprofits uh, feel frustrated at times with social media when they go on, they make an effort, they do something like an Instagram push, and they don't get much traction with it. They don't get much engagement. Um, what were some lessons learned you might have had, and um, how do you take some of those things? Do you take them as, oh, this didn't work, we're never going to do it again, or you take it as, ah, let's try a different approach, maybe once we build our base? I mean, how do you um, evaluate uh, the lessons that you've, you've learned through the digital media? Yeah, so I think um, for us, uh, you know, I talked about the Instagram challenge. I think one of the things that we're, we're fortunate to have the ability to kind of work with social and concentrate on social, put effort in year round. And so I think that uh, really helps us. I, uh, I know, you know, or, or feel like a lot of nonprofits start thinking about give to the max day, you know, a month ahead of time or a couple weeks ahead of time. Certainly for us, uh, we got more concentrated uh, you know, two or three months out, but really throughout the whole year, um, we're working hard to convey what's great about children's and the impact that philanthropy has on the children and families we, we serve. Um, you know, we're the largest pediatric healthcare system in the upper Midwest, and so I have a great story to tell about all the children and families we serve, and so tell that year round, and then really get concentrated and focused, and so I think in terms of, and I, and I feel like that was successful this year, you know, we, we really worked hard throughout the year uh, to build our fan base and following with really great engaging content, um, you know, that, that keeps our audience engaged with what's going on. And then, um, you know, six weeks or a month out uh, from, from Give to the Max Day, we were able to turn that into activating that fan base. So um, it wasn't like we showed up uh, a month before Give to the Max Day with, hey, Give to Children's. Uh, we showed up you know, January 1st, thinking about how do we engage people, how do we um, build our fan base, and then, you know, in fourth quarter, leading up to Give to the Max Day, how do we activate that fan base to support us? Well, two things you mentioned, um, being a large, large nonprofit and um, working year-round. I wonder uh, if you could tell me a little bit about how Children's uh, uses GiveMN, why use GiveMN. I'm sure you already had before GiveMN existed, and if GiveMN didn't exist, you have uh, things in place to take online donations. What does uh, GiveMN add to the mix for you? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a couple things. Kind of outside of Give to the Max Day, one of the things I love about GiveMN is the kind of um, the project pages or the peer-to-peer -peer fundraising piece. So that's something we've used uh, year round for people to celebrate or memorialize an experience at Children's or um, you know maybe with a donor who wants to make something possible for Children's that's beyond their financial means. So um, we use that functionality to allow them to kind of leverage their gifts and their network to raise even more. Um, on Give to the Max Day, uh, Specifically, I think one of the things it does is, um, again, as I mentioned, push that fourth quor quarter a little bit earlier into the year uh, and allows you to create momentum. So uh, traditionally for us, we think about, you know, launching our kind of fourth quarter or year end efforts, you know, right after Thanksgiving when our big direct mail piece hits. And, and what Give to the Max Day allows us to do is, is lengthen and strengthen that uh, calendar and campaign. So, you know, while we start with the soft messaging, you know, October 1st, early in the um, in fourth quarter, we're able to move, you know, probably by November 1st uh, to pretty strong call to action around giving, uh, focused on Give to the Max Day. And then, um, you know, because we're successful, we get to celebrate that success and sort of leverage that success and momentum, you know, into that post post Thanksgiving and, and year end December giving push. So it allows us to get started earlier and, and also to, you know, advance some of our giving into November. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot. Yep.